Friday's episode of General Hospital brought it with some very juicy cliffhangers. One again, Peter August, Wes Ramsey, lives to see another day, escapes the cops, and goes on the run with his daughter. Louise in tow. This all goes down after Peter is being transported to Pentonville for his crimes. But the van crashes, when actually it was a setup, the tires were punctured. Mac, John J. York, and Dante, Dominic Zamprogna, are on the scene, and then they get shot at. Mac is severely injured, Dante not so much, but both are taken to GH, courtesy slash ABC meanwhile, after Austin, Roger Howarth, and Maxie, Kirsten Storms, kiss, he is very suspicious of Maxie's intent because it's now a lot in the open that he knows what happened the night Louise was born and given to Brooklyn, Amanda set in, to take care of. At the queues, Brooklyn and Chase, Josh Swickard, are fighting their attraction to one another, then nearly giving in with a big kiss, when the phone rings for Chase. It's Dante from the hospital telling him that Peter escaped. When Chase relates this to Brooklyn, she freaks and hightails it to the nursery and wouldn't you know? Bailey aka Louise is gone. The final shot of the episode is Peter with Louise telling her nothing will ever keep them separated again. While all this is playing out, Sonny, Maurice Bennard, decked in white tuxedo with new wedding bands for he and Carly, Laura Wright, is waiting for his wife to show up for his planned night with her at the Haunted Star. Sonny wants to show Carly how much he loves her. Christina, Lexi Ainsworth, finds Sonny on the deck and is concerned for her dad, but reassures him that Carly will see the lengths he has gone to, in order to make a perfect evening for her. Sonny tells Christina he just wants to make things right between them. But thanks to Christina's interpretation of a call she places to Carly, she literally drives a wrecking ball into the marriage of her father and Carly. An upset Christina tells Carly, who is on the bridge talking with Drew, Cameron, Matheson, trying to determine if she should meet Sonny at the Haunted Star, that Sonny is waiting for her, and will be heartbroken if she doesn't show up and to just meet him halfway, and listen to what he has to say. Carly says she can't do this right now. Drew, who is now the new sounding board, for Carly, since Jason is dead, tells Carly that although she needs time and space from Sonny, and he understands she is justified in feeling that way, he believes this is all a cry for help from Sonny. If she goes to meet him, she's not caving into what Sonny wants, but throwing him a lifeline. Courtesy slash ABC Next Christina heads back to the boat to be there for Sonny and tells him Carly's not coming to meet him and that she is not willing to meet him halfway. Then, Christina heads to Charlie's where none other than Liesel, Kathleen Gotti, overhears her on the phone telling someone that Sonny's alone. Liesel next informs Nina, Cynthia Watros, who she had been talking with at the bar, and Nina decides to head to the Haunted Star. Later, Nina shows up and Sonny sees her. The hospital, Felicia, Christina Wagner, tells Maxie, Kirsten Storms, that things don't look good for Mac, and he is headed into surgery and Austin tells Maxie that Peter is out there somewhere as he has escaped being transported to prison. Ad luck test, why?